So, as you all know, today we're talking to DC-based Ashwat Narayan. Um, he's a Forbes Under 30 scholar and one of the co-founders of Culture Media Co. Um, they create impactful and effective social campaigns that stand out amongst all the noise that we see. Um, they're here to help brands, nonprofits, and social entrepreneurs leverage online content while reaching out to the right target audience. <laughs> um, so Ashwath will be speaking to us about his mission and will also provide some advice on how we can improve our online presence. Being in DC, um, you're at an intersection of politics, nonprofit, and business, and you don't really see all of these three sectors interact. And that's why that's where Culture Media Co comes in, where we want to make sure. <coughs> sorry, we want to make sure that there's an intersection between um, the for-profit space and the non-profit space, and we want to make sure that we're tapping into our for-profit contacts and our for-profit network to help the non-profit space. And so that's what culture is about. I'll go into Gen like I'm not in Generation Z or at all. Yeah. Let older. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Like, what's the? How would you describe that marketing? In like, right. no, of course, I love, so. I love that question because um, so Gen Z is basically 1996 and above, 1996 to 2004, and people born then. And so, what I mean by that is um, a lot of the teens nowadays are looking for content that is highly branded. <coughs> And also that is sustainable, that is um, more progressive in nature. And so you can see this culture where um, brands like, have you heard of Tom? Um, so Tom's is a brand, it's a shoe brand. And what they do is um, for every shoe they sell, they donate one pair. And they also do a lot of work with gun violence prevention and a lot of social campaigns. And so brands are starting to notice that they have to be more socially conscious and socially aware. They have to give back to the community if they want to be liked by Gen Z. And so what I mean by Gen Z marketing is brands have to understand that they have to be sustainable, that they have to kind of give back to the community and they can't take advantage of it. And so there's this huge cultural shift where brands are starting to notice this and are trying to tie their social content around it. And so question. What about people who um, are not too keen on using social media? And, like myself, for example, I don't. I try not to use Facebook or Instagram or really anything like that because yeah. um, you know, it just it's a lot of it eats up a lot of my time, and, and there's also emotional uh, things associated with it as well. And so, yeah. what would be a Solution to doing that when running a business is there a way to have right. for you? Right, for sure. <laughs> so, um, with a lot of marketing, like, um, th so for us, what usually works is, and with a lot of businesses that are B two B, what works in that case is to create um, meetup groups and to create physical events that people can come to and talk to and meet people. And so that's a good way to stay in touch with people where um, you get, you start a meetup and meet every Sunday and you just come together to talk about ideas that are related to your industry. And so if you're a nonprofit, you can try to get different nonprofit leaders and just talk and create a platform for people to share ideas on what they're doing to have collaborations, to just basically a forum or a community for people to interact with each other and that's usually a really good way to do it because then you create long lasting relationships and so we're really big on doing that where you can do you can use the meetup you can meet at a coffee shop you can meet you know in your office you can meet at someone's house and just meet so that's a good way to do marketing as well where you're meeting but what i've also found is a lot of people if they're not on instagram or facebook they are on email and so you can curate a newsletter that's not um, you know, sending out every week, but that's once a month. And that just, you know, has the highlights of what you're up to and that's transparent on what your organization is doing. And that's a good way to reach people. <coughs> and so it's really important that you're able to communicate with people in some way, whether that's through meetup or whether that's through email. But 
social media isn't always the best strategy to do that. Some people are more, you know, <coughs> comfortable with email or meeting in person. And so that's one way to reach them.